Hello everyone, welcome to the second part of this uh, Touch Designer tutorial where we're gonna see how to recreate the Archimedes spiral using a uh, Python code. So uh, we left our, our uh, network in the last part on, on this and we have this uh, a script up with this code snippet where we're gonna start uh, working. Uh, I'm gonna use an external editor so the um, I can or we can easily uh, save some time. I use uh, VS Code so you can use this or whatever is your favorite and let's start. Okay, uh, I'm gonna close this for a bit and we're gonna start doing this. First, we're gonna uh, click here on the set of parameters. If we click, uh, it will uh, say, uh, show an error. This is because uh, we're referring here to parameters that were not defined because uh, uh, this is a, a snippet uh, like a placeholder. So uh, we're gonna first in in the in the first parameter, we're gonna declare the samples. Remember that all all of parameters we're gonna define it with a, a uppercase, the first letter because uh, if we do if we we do we doesn't do that, uh, it will not work. And we're gonna make or we're gonna uh, define the same label. The second parameter is our parameter A. And we're gonna give it the same label name. Then we're gonna copy this line and paste it. And we're gonna define our parameter cycles. Uh, and the label we're gonna define it the same cycles. We uh, we save the the file and then we click again on set of parameters and then we see that our script is working well now. So we're gonna define the same as before. Uh, samples to 100, uh, a parameter to 1, and cycles to 1. The next part here on on this uh, uh, in this tutorial is to uh, we're going to define the um, function that we're gonna use in future tutorials to make our conversion from param from polar to parametric. So we're gonna def for function. The name will be polar underscore to underscore parametric. And uh, we're gonna have two arcs that we have our polar equation and the angle we're in. Then we're gonna declare two variables the first variable will be par, that is uh, parametric, and cos. And this will be equal to our function mat cos the, of our angle. And we'll be uh, multiplying this by our polar function. Then we can copy this line. Uh, and we just display, just replace uh, the calls to sign. And basically, this is our function. So we need to return the those two uh, variables. So we can type this 
return par false and par sim. And that's our function. So the next thing here is uh, to declare all the variables we're gonna use. So we start with uh, samples that, that is on the snippet. And then we have a that is, so lowercase a that is equal to a script of dot par dot a. The second parameter is our cycles. So we define cycles and we assign the script of dot par dot cycles. And uh, we're gonna define another parameter uh, or another variable that is uh, equal to the value of the cycle but we're gonna assign the value of uh, in radians so we don't need to uh, rewrite all the code that is mat.py times two. So we're gonna define cycle equals to math.p times two. And that's all for the declaration of the variables. Then uh, the assign of the samples uh, is done in the code snippet. That is because this is something that we're always going to use, but these parameters uh, can change in from from equation to equation. So that's that's why uh, they're not defined on the snippet. So the next thing is to calculate the step size. If we remember, uh, we need to calculate the value of every sample. And uh, this calculation is divided or is calculated by dividing our value of cycles in uh, by the number of samples we have. So we can do it uh, writing or typing step equals to cycle that is our full cycle value uh, using um, radians but we need to multiply this for the number of cycles we're gonna have in the full spiral so uh, we're gonna multiply by cycles I'm gonna close this in two parentheses and then we're gonna divide this for a number of samples minus one uh, we need to uh, rest one one value because uh, python starts from zero so if we say say it will uh, think that is if, sorry, if we say 100, it, it will think that is one, 101. So we need to uh, uh, rest that one to have uh, the samples that we are defining here. So this step is done. We save the file and we see no errors. So uh, the next thing we're gonna do is to append the output channels. This also comes in the code snippet because the, we will do this on every curve, on every equation we're gonna see in this series. So the next thing uh, is to assign the value to the, the, to the output channels. And if we remember, we need to go with a for loop that is in a range of all our samples and uh, as our function uh, returns the two parameters we can do the assignation using just one line so we need to access to the tx on the current 
uh, value or sample and ty on the current sorry ty on the current sample and this will be equals to our function that is polar to parametric and the arguments we're gonna add here will be the next uh, first is our polar equations if we remember our polar equation is a times the angle and the second uh, argument is angle so we type angle so before uh, running this we need to add a line before and this line we're gonna uh, uh, declare our variable angle so it will be easy to understand the, the equation so uh, our angle will be our step size or our, our variable step times uh, the sample we're in and we can do the save the file and we see that our function is working so I'm gonna close this this is our full implementation on Python and we're going to proceed we're uh, looking to the equation so I'm going to close this I'm gonna uh, uh, take off the full screen so we can see we can see the 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 top viewer and we will add a null or out of our scripts uh, script shop then uh, after the merge here on the shop uh, we need we add a switch and we connect this null so if we play with the switch we see that the equation is showing uh, the spiral but uh, we need to add more cycles so it's working uh, as, we, as we see uh, if we are more more cycles and have a, a low value of samples the curve will look a little bit square so we need to add more samples and our curve will be smooth finally uh, we can make also the calculation for the tc but it's easy to take this one that is outside and we can replace uh, this value here from for this value here and we can do do this with the replace chop and here in the, re in the replace chop we're gonna connect the chop where we want to replace the value and the second input uh, e we're gonna uh, place the value that it will, will replace the first value so we need to connect this and we'll, we, it will replace it as you see uh, for make a better replace or a good replace we need to uh, be sure that the channel have the same name we want to replace so here replace it tc by tc so the next uh, and last step is to uh, check that uh, our bot function sh show the same information so we can switch for the one that is uh, the the one that we made with chops and uh, we can uh, copy these values on the parameters on the python implementation and we want to see that uh, there's no difference between the two spirals okay so we go back to the switch and if we switch from one to another you see no difference so basically we're making the same curve with uh, different uh, approximations or different ways to, to do it 
so for last uh, you can play with these uh, parameters on the line so maybe something interesting will, will happen also uh, you can see that your spiral have this um, depth so we can also increase this depth here and if we move our camera perspective we can see that has this depth so you can play with that also and maybe make something interesting so this is all for now i hope you enjoy this i hope uh, this is uh, useful for you so if you like this uh, this video you can uh, subscribe to my channel to see more tutorials that we're gonna be making from now on these curves and also you can like this video also uh, you can uh, give any comment or feedback on the comment section and this uh, file will be uh, on the the link to this file will be on the description of the video so uh, we'll see you i will see you on the next tutorial and have some fun